So we're just going to continue with the process of setting up our iTree Canopy project. So the first thing to do is click on Get Started over here. And if you pop up a project that you've done before, which is what I've done here, and this is definitely worth showing you, the easiest way to get out of it is just go to this Project tab up here, File, and do New Start Over. And that'll just clear that old project out of your cache. If you haven't saved that project yet, you'll want to make sure that you do that first. So I'll click OK there, then we're back on our iTree Canopy homepage, and I'll click Get Started. So the first step in configuring your project, and this is up here, you can see a step one of three, is to set the boundary that you're going to do a survey within. And there are three choices here. There's US boundaries, and that's brand new for iTree Canopy version 7. That's the one I'll be talking about in this video. And in a couple subsequent videos, I'll go over loading a shape file and drawing a boundary, which are both possible in previous versions of iTree Canopy. So if you're in the US, we've actually preloaded a whole bunch of US boundaries in here. So that's what this will do. So we can expand that out. And let's say you want to do uh, a whole city. So I'm going to go ahead with uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, just in the search bar at the top of the map there. You can see we zoom to Philadelphia. So these are a bunch of the types of boundaries we have. So US Census block groups, those are relatively small. They typically have 600 to 3,000 people in them. So if you want to see what those look like, uh, if we hover over this I symbol, you can see it says show layer. So if I click on that, these are all the census block groups in the Philadelphia area. So you can see these are pretty small, um, but we're gonna go ahead census places. These are uh, equivalent to municipalities or cities. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn those on. And you can see we've got a big open space here for Philadelphia. And if we click here, that allows us to select from that layer. And if you wanna make sure that you're selecting, if you go down the bottom here, you'll see that the select button is turned blue. If you click on delete, uh, you'll see the delete button turns red. So we wanna select, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and just click within that boundary for Philadelphia. I'll zoom out a little bit here. You can see we've got the whole boundary selected. So if that's all you wanted to do was a city, you can go ahead and click the next button and move on to step two of configuration. But you can do more than one boundary. So if you wanted to combine Philadelphia with surrounding uh, municipalities, you can just um, go ahead and leave that on and start clicking on those surrounding municipalities. Um, and if you decided you didn't want those, you could click delete. One thing to be careful of here is that you can actually select uh, boundaries within another boundary. And in that case, you'll be double counting those. So you don't want to do that. So you want to make sure that your boundaries are separate and not overlapping. And you can go ahead in here and you can explore these other layers so we can turn them off. Uh, county subdivisions, that would be like townships or boroughs often. Uh, uh, U.S. counties and congressional districts, pretty self-explanatory. You can do whole states, uh, water t watersheds, and these are the Huck 12 uh, size watersheds. So if you want to see what those look like, we can go ahead and turn that on. Um, and you can see they're sort of moderate sized watersheds. These community grounds, I'd say these are, are sort of in beta, but you can turn them on and see what they are. They're, they're from a database that's not really uh, super complete everywhere in the country, but in some places those will pop up. So that's how you use existing boundaries, and this only works within the US. And once you have those boundaries selected, you can go ahead and hit next, and that'll take you to the next step of configuration, which we'll cover in another video.